Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's Mike. Welcome back to my channel, Mike's 84 Corvette. Uh, today, I'm gonna ask a question. Um, is it worth ceramic coating a 37-year-old car with a 37-year-old finish? So, uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, get a nice shine out of this. Follow the steps, see what happens right after this. Hey guys, so I've always wanted to try and uh, cer th these new ceramic coatings and I figured why not try it on the Corvette. So I bought this uh, Avalon King brand uh, ceramic polish and it comes quite nicely packaged I have to say. Um, here's the uh, ceramic coating in there. The uh, little pad comes with a nice cloth. The uh, pad, actually, the cloth that goes on the pad, and there's actually they even give you gloves too. All nicely packaged, good instructions. So what I was going to do is. I'm going to do the optimal method, which is the, wa the uh, wash, clay bar, polish, and then wipe with alcohol. And then they go into how to apply. But um, I've got some quick wax. I bought this clay lube. And it, this is actually a clay mitt, which I'm going to use. I've used uh, the clay bars before, and they work. Um, this actually, I think, was recommended. Uh, I read it somewhere, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so let's take a look at the car real quick. So I've got it out here. I mean, the finish is 37 years old. I'm going to wash it. I don't know if you can see, but there is some weird stuff going on there. I don't know. but. It is dirty. I'm gonna give it a wash. And then I will uh, follow the, the directions. Hopefully it'll uh, make a nice finish. So we'll see. Probably won't subject you guys to the boredom of me washing the car, but I'll definitely go through all the steps. And then when I get to the uh, the ceramic coating. I'll show you what I got. Okay, first step. Washed. Well, at least sudsed up. Let's rinse this baby off. Move on to the next step, which will be the uh, clay mitt. Let me get at it. So hey, I wanted to show you guys something. This is pretty cool. This is a little squeegee I've had for a while and it really does a quick job getting the water off. I'll show you. So not too bad for a quick wash and dry. 
play it for 37 years. Still got a pretty good finish on it. I mean, I've touched it up here and there, but it's really not bad. Just hoping that uh, I can make a make it look a little bit better until I decide to get it repainted. Next step is the clay mitt. Let me check that out and we'll start. So I got my uh, clay mitt and then this clay luber stuff from Chemical Guys. That's a nice smell. Anyway, it says... Da, 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 da. Spray generous amount, two by two area, quickly mist onto clay, clay the vehicle gently. All right, pretty straightforward. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Maybe a good idea if I open this up, huh? On. Okay. Hmm. Spray it on there too. Let's see how we do here. Put my hand in there. Oh, nice and smooth. All right, I'm gonna keep going, guys. I'll show you when I'm all done. All right, so I did the clay mitt with the uh, this clay luber, and I have to say this stuff is really, really good, real easy to use. Um, spray on, use the clay mitt, and then just wipe off with a clean towel, and I tell you, very smooth, exactly what it's supposed to do, get rid of any anything in the uh, finish, very smooth. So next step will be to do the wax, put a coat of wax on it, and then I guess we do a alcohol wipe before you put a ceramic coating on just to get anything off, I suppose. And then we'll have the final product. All right, so it's been uh, washed, clay barred or clay mitted with the lube and wax. I have to say it does look pretty good. Looks pretty good. So far I'm happy with it. Um, Next step will be to do the quick wipe down with the alcohol and then we can get to the uh, ceramic coating. So anyway, this is where we're at. Hopefully that uh, ceramic coating will seal in this nice shine. And then the car will be ready for the summer. So uh, I think what I'm going to do actually is pull it into the garage and uh, cover it up and then hit it with the alcohol and then the ceramic tomorrow. So uh, till then, hold on. For you, for me, it's going to be overnight. For you, it's going to be like two seconds. So hey guys, it's uh, it's actually the next day. And it is raining out, so I'm glad the car is inside the garage. And just to review, prepping the car for first ever ceramic coating, and I have done, oops, so we got these steps done. Hopefully you can see them. We did the wash, we did the clay bar, we did the polish. Now I need to do the IPA wipe. So I've got some isopropyl alcohol and I'm 
I'm just going to wipe it down. I'm going to use maybe this white one, white uh, rag here, and then we'll get into the uh, ceramic coating after that. So let me do a quick wipe down, and then we'll get on to the last and <clears throat> hopefully the best, most rewarding step. I have to say, though, all the steps that I've done so far are so nice and smooth. I almost feel like leaving it this way, but we're going to go for it. So let me do this quick wipe down, and then we'll get on with it. All right, so I've done step one. I got my little applicator all put together with the cloth tucked in. I got to shake the bottle, put some drops on, and then you got to go, uh, you got to go across. And then that way, I guess at right angles, what I think I'm going to do is do the hood probably up to the middle section here and then come across. You could do something like that. Nice section and then do sections, maybe three sections on this half and then three sections on the other half. Hopefully that'll work out all right. So, uh... Let's get this camera set up. You guys can watch the first application. All right, let's shake this baby up. Gave gloves too. Gave me a pair of gloves. To get gloves, I guess you need them. Let's take this off. Put that in there. there all right here we go so put a bunch there huh. stay there let's see no idea if I'm doing this right Smell it. Whew. It has quite the smell. It's not hard to apply. wait for it to flash dry and then wipe it off. So I did the first section. Let's 
smooth down. So guys, I just finished the hood, and I have to say, it does look nice. Put a little more, a little more light on here. And you can see it, but it does put down a real nice shine. And actually, it was quite easy to put on. And buff out. See this so far, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna go on and do the roof and then the back, and then work my way up along the sides, and then uh, hopefully I'll be done. I mean, the great thing about a Corvette. I mean, other than it being an awesome car, is that it's not that big, so it doesn't take too long to do this. You can do this to a full-size SUV. It's going to take a while, especially with all the prep. But anyway, let me get to the roof and the sides, and then I'll check back in. So guys, I'm all done. And I guess to answer my initial question, is it worth ceramic coating a 37-year-old car? I'm going to have to say yes. I'm pretty darn happy with the way it turned out. It's like a nice bright shine on it. Um, it even filled in right over here. I had some, uh, hard to tell, I guess, but this paint right here, hold on, let me see if I can get different light on here. That doesn't help either. Anyway, this paint on this, uh, on this part of the halo right here was really worn through. And after the uh, ceramic coating, it's just, it's amazing. It really filled it in. Even up on the top, there was some worn paint, and it looks really good. So, like I said, overall, definitely worth it. I mean, there's only so much you can do with 37-year-old paint. And uh, I do think it came out very nice. So, yeah, I would definitely do it. It doesn't take that long. I also recommend following all the steps with whatever brand you buy, but uh, I'm happy with it. So anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.